What are you hearing from sources on what would be different in a second Trump term in terms of not just Trump himself, but but who's around him and what those efforts to enact his policy ambitions look like? Yeah, so my colleagues Jonathan Swan and Charlie Savage and I have been working on a series about what a Trump second administration would look like going back to June. And, you know, this is not hypothetical, Caitlin. These are generally based on his own piece in June was about how he said he was going to appoint a real special prosecutor, quote unquote, to go after President Biden and his family. He has talked about uh, wanting to have more control over, you know, cities. There was a, a comment that he made in March where he talked about, uh, you know, we're not, we're not going to wait for permission to go in, something to that effect. It was a clear reference to the Insurrection Act, which he did not use on U.S. cities when there were protests, and some of which turned into riots in 2020 uh, in, in response to the killing of an unarmed black man in Minnesota, George Floyd, but he is, you know, he is saying a number of things that he is planning. He has a policy staff that is working on a, a very, very uh, radical immigration plan. It's not that dissimilar from what Trump was talking about in 2016. He has outside groups that are working on efforts to try to, uh, you know, not just staff a second administration, but help him gut the civil service and to try to take greater control over pockets of authority, uh, of uh, independence within the government. So this is all from his own mouth and or from his close allies or his advisors. And this is what would happen next time. And he'd be walking into a presidency with a weakened Congress, with the people who have been the most opposed to him and his own party, such as Liz Cheney, uh, not in her seat anymore, Mitt Romney leaving, um, you know, can go, go down the list. There were not many of them and they are basically gone because he has bent the party to his will. And he has a supermajority of conservatives on the Supreme Court, which could change things as well. Yeah, and no worry about having to be reelected after that. Maggie Haberman, great reporting exactly. as always. Thank you.